politician, activist, artist, etc. That means people making this contact already know me. They know my background. They know all of that. The other thing is, when I went there, 89 and 90 in that period when I was going. One of our brothers from Iran, we should call him Mahmoud Lafayette. His name was Mahmoud Mugaddam. It was nothing slick about how they got rid of them. They came, grabbed him, and, and put him on a boat at, back to Iran. It was no like... Uh, we're going to keep you here. You're going to get a hearing. And they didn't get none of that. That's down in New Orleans. Because he worked very well with African Americans. Imam Jamil's community had a place in New Orleans. And they worked hand in hand with them. And I didn't say anything about it. It worked out fine. Okay. When he went back to Iran, alhamdulillah, he became a colonel in the Pastoran, you know, revolutionary. So when I went in those days, everybody was fresh and uh, just back from here. And uh, when I went to the parade ground, they goose stepping and flags waving, and some of our brothers are in the, in the, in the crowd, like almost crying. This is our brother. You got to remember that period. See, the ones that do the dirt over here now, they remember, but they they went bad. The ones that went back, you know, was really good friends of really good people. The ones that stayed here, old boss man of favor, right? That's why we get the dumb stuff like we get now for the last 20 years. The good ones went back home. So my first trip, you got to remember that politics has turned into a garbage can, you know, the smell and all that, right? That's back then. That was right after Imam died. The lecture was 1990. That was the first, not the first one, but that was just one of them. This is the one that I have the notes of. It said that it's like a sewer. You go in and do your work. And when you come out, everybody can smell you but yourself. I was talking about politics. What else did that have to do? That means that when I smelt them here, I told them over there. Yeah, I had meetings with uh, the highest official was my friend, a good friend, Brother Mahmoud. Everybody knew him. He was high enough up in there, and I told him, bring some security people, you know. And I met with them. Everybody wondered, why does this nigga stay over here six months or three months? I'm educating them. You didn't look at the paperwork. I stayed there months and months and months. Why? To educate them on what's going on in America. How do you know it worked? Look what happened when uh, Zarif them, right, when they had a meeting with Syria, they left Zarif at home. So you stay back there with who? Medea Benjamin. You like them crackers? Stay home with them, right? See, that's when, and some other times, we have mumbled, the security forces have met with so-and-so and that, 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 and uh, Russia, if anybody remembers that type of thing. And this is our message. And guess what? Everything comes, da 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 I said, okay, they got the message. All of that time, I, didn't, I ain't getting nothing. Because all the information coming through is being filtered through the coons, the Iranian coons down there. 
He reigned coons. Everything is going through. Remember all the officials here. You would think Zarif was running for president of the United States for a while, right? When he's on the What's the White Man's program. Charlie Rose and all of them, right? You ought to see him. Oh, he's picking his teeth, I think. that I said, good God Almighty. Right? And he don't think nobody see him. Everybody over there is watching. That's why, see, I could tell by stuff like this. You could see. Did I give you all one of these? Well, I'll give you one later. As you know, the government will change September 13th. That is because we are trying to fix a meeting about the Supreme, Supreme Leader and all that. Y'all didn't get one of these? That was, uh, I think I gave everybody. Yeah, it was a few years ago, right? This is old. But everything that I'm reading is, some of it is old because what it means is it means one thing at one time and it has added weight as it goes on. So uh, after some days, me and Mr. Mutazami, the, the, the advisor to the International Affairs of the Iranian Vice Minister of Culture, da, 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 would meet with the assistant of... International Affairs of the Supreme Leaders. These are all the big boys. The assistant for so-and-so, not the Supreme Leader, but the assistant to the Supreme Leader and the, the assistant of the big chief so-and-so and the double assistant of so They're all going to meet. That's who's going to do everything. The president is just going to come and read the notice that all the assistants made, right? We're trying to get you over here because these coons then won the election. Is what it says. It just don't use the word coon, but I know what it's saying. The government will change in a few months. We want to try our maximum. If you would be in this delegation, we need a letter of you in which you ask to meet him. This letter have been written to him personally with your signature. That's got to be a homeboy. He just write me and tell me I didn't already sign your name to this letter because it's in a hurry, you know. And fine, right? <laughs> that means that you have something going on with certain people. If certain people get in, that's your team. If certain people go out, We'll know what's going on exactly very soon. But we already have a hint. The way the world is, is, is bad and good. What's going on in Yemen is very bad. But it's getting ready to wrap up. What's going on with Iran, they're getting bombings blowed up here, blowed up there all the time. They ain't saying that it's okay, fine. But they can hold on. Lebanon is at the breaking point. Could you turn a little air on just for a second? I know it's a little uh, medium for y'all, but it's getting a little hot for the brother. Okay, so if you would be in this delegation, da, 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 even this meeting will not be possible and this government the contact, da, 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 basically is it. And I visualized this. I saw this. All the big programs that the brothers been having the last eight, nine years have been the worst programs. They have, it's unbelievable. No revolutionaries. All big writers from France and this, that, and other, like them. And then when they talking to me, Imam Musa, uh, I, I I tried to, when I invited the, the National Negro here, I was trying to explain to him about Velayat Tifaki. I said, yeah, y'all had him everywhere. I said, it's fine. They knew what they was doing. They knew what he believed. 
And they said, some of the people that really didn't know, Imam Musa, is it really true? This is a sister and the press. Do, do some people really believe that there's a, a spaceship out there and that they're going to all go up on this space? I said, of course. What do you think? Of course. What's wrong with that? And if they don't, there's no hereafter, is hereafter somebody is gone? That's good hereafter. Hereafter the white man is gone. That's what some people, right? So some of them know. But they were trying to make those coons to be something they wasn't. They couldn't even pretend. I would go up to New York and they would have them sitting right smack in the front not knowing that the president and whoever is going to get this is who those are. They'd have the National Negro sitting on this side and the president sitting there and they'd have uh, uh, Imam Subhamari Rami from New York or Brooklyn. He's sitting over here. And they have the poor brother, me, sitting way, you couldn't get any farther in the back. Just couldn't get any farther in the back. Oh, it's okay. And then they, they, they'll come tease you. We better go check on the money and find out we get to about this money. So they're trying to tell me that they're going to go and get some money from, uh, it's all choreographed. It's all choreographed. Didn't mean a thing. You have to, you have to be able to be patient. Sometimes the wind is blowing in your direction, right? Sometimes it's not. And when it's blowing against you, you have to try to set your sails as much where you could go either the exact way you want or some kind of way. Like if the wind blowing against you, you may not be able to go directly north, right? But you can set them sail sideways and it'll take you northeast at a high speed, which would be just like taking you north because when it went go the other way, you're going to go back over that way. This is the way the movement is. The movement now, uh, the wind is headed in our direction. The global wind. That means everything in it is heading in our direction. Or not to say enough. For instance, the rise and fall of great powers, the United States for now. Everything is uh, blowing against its power. But now we're in here. We have to protect ourselves from the destruction of that wind. When those fires come, we have to protect ourselves and our family from those fires. Right? Remember the car fire two years ago? It had hurricanes, fires, you know, hurricane. That means the fire, the wind, you know, making that fire hot. Not like a blacksmith, they just blow a little wind. But imagine how hot that fire is if you have a whirlwind inside the fire. Fresh air heating that boy up. That's why look at California. When you see those four, those fires, the houses is burned to the brick. It collapsed like a bomb blew it up, not like a fire, right? I'm telling you. During these periods, we have to be, there's a combination that we need. We have to be patient. We have to be focused. But we have to also be dedicated to play our part in this time, in this environment, to be of a great assistance to humanity. This is not to help Allah, this is to help humanity. Right? Allah don't need no help. What are you going to do to help Allah? He created everything. You're going to help something. Right? We got to help the people because the people 
right now, this kutpa may sound out to lunch. It's not like that bad. Oh, it's bad, yeah. It's bad. But it ain't like that. We say it is like this. It's actually technically worse than what we're saying, and we don't know how worse if you can use that type of language. <laughs> These things that are heading our way are coming and they're accelerating rapidly every year. Who knows whether it's five years left at this rate? Because they ain't doing nothing to slow nothing down, right? And each thing that hurts is they burn up more in the Amazon. That means it's going to get hotter up there and less.